Has this happened to you? Boot manager's missing, and nothing you can do to restore it. Well, here's what to do. I'm going to tell you how to wipe your computer. First off, you're going to put your OS disk in the drive, whether that be Windows, Linux, or whatever, and press F12, or Tab, or whatever accesses your boot menu. So, put your disk in the drive, and my motherboard says press F12 to enter the boot menu. Now you want to choose the drive that, well, it has the OS disk in it, obviously. So I'm going to take you through that. The next step is, you need to follow the on-screen instructions, and press the any key. And then sit back until it wants some input from you. Now I'm going to show you what happens when I do this on my desktop. So here we go, here's the boot sequence. It's in the BIOS screen, where it initialises everything, all the fun stuff. Keyboards, mice, USB, all that. So here we go, it's asking you to press that any key again. I don't know where it is, but apparently I pressed it. So Windows is loading files. This is Windows 7 installing. So I'm going to shorten this sequence, it does take a while. As you can see it's going up very slowly. But even with the new SATA drives it takes forever, so you'll get over it. So it's starting Windows, is it? No. Well in fact it's lying to you, it's not starting Windows, it's starting the install. So here we go with the funny animation where it goes boom. Yeah. It's all fun like that. So it's still starting Windows, and here we go, here's the install screen. So you've got the random rotatey thingy. Now you select your language. I'm going to choose English, as that's the language I'm speaking to you in. And it says, time and currency format, English United States. No, let's set that to the right country, which automatically changes the keyboard. Okay. So yeah, then press next, then you press install. I use the keyboard, but hey, you can do it with the mouse just the same. See the swirly thing in the bottom left? Well, almost in the bottom left. But yeah, setup is starting. Now you have to agree to this, otherwise it kicks you off. Now press custom. Choose your hard drive. Obviously we choose the one you want. And you've got system reserve there, which is what happens. I want you to delete that. And then go to your main partition that you're going to install to and delete that too. Now you've got some unallocated space. You're going to install to that. You don't need to press new, just press next. It does it all for you. And now it's starting the Windows install. It's copying Windows files. So yeah, it doesn't take long, but the next few things do. Now it's installing the updates. Obviously it's not this quick, I did make a cut, in case you didn't notice. But yeah, installing all the updates, so that takes a while, but hey. Now, when it restarts after that, you get the press any key thing again, don't press the any key. Don't. Otherwise you'll break everything. Well you won't, you'll just reformat your hard drive again, if you follow those steps. And you don't want to do that, it's a waste of time. So yeah, starting Windows, it's going to update registry values, and then it's going to phase into everything else. So now it's starting its services. Well, that's what it's telling you it's doing anyway. So yeah, completing the installation. There you go. Simple as. Windows is doing it all for you. Don't worry. Don't worry. So yeah, almost there. Once that loads, you get this. It restarts your computer again. How nice. So, starting Windows up again, with the funny logo. But this time it's not lying to you. This time it is actually starting Windows. So there's a little bit of waiting to do. You've got to do it. Because it's, well, it's installed a new operating system on your hard drive. But hey, this works with all Windows, not just Windows 7. Vista looks the same in the installation. 98 XP, that's a bit different. You have to use the keyboard. But it's just as simple. You can do it. So Windows is now starting up. Checking my video performance, which takes a while. Cause it's, that's the customer, ex customer experience index. That's what you call it. And then you get this screen. Please type your name. So yeah, I'm going to type Tom, because that is my name. Unsurprisingly, it's not Tingling a 5. There is no 5 in my name. Then it's going to ask you for the product key. I'm not going to show you mine, because it's mine. Now you got the Windows Update. Choose the recommended settings. It keeps things away from you, lets you get on with it. Now you're going to set the time and your time zone. So I set it to GMT, UTC I think it said. And because I'm on the university network, I'm going to set it to public. So I don't want to share my files with random people. So yeah, Windows is starting up. Here we go. It is welcoming me. It's a good sign. Almost there. Don't worry. There, Windows 7 Professional. It works for every copy of Windows 7. And Vista looks almost the same, installing. So here we are, the desktop. You've successfully wiped your computer and installed Windows. And already, it's downloading updates. Hurrah! So don't forget to subscribe and join me with the binary solo, 010101, and stuff like that. Facebook, Folding at Home, and Twitter. I've got them all, so I want you to like, 
follow and join my team. And if you need to, you can email me. That's the kind of person I am. You can email me whenever. When I reply is, well, depends on what time you send it, but I will reply. And here's what you get. Woohoo!